Hello there, I'm talking about Zuma Grand Turismo 4. Today we'll continue on my let's play. This is episode 107. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the SL Challenge for the Mercedes uh, manufacturer events. For that, we need an SL, and instead of buying a brand new SL, we're going to buy ourselves a nice quality used SL. And I'm going to use the SL600 because I was going to use the 500 because it's way cheaper. And, and then the 600 showed up, and I couldn't resist buying the V12 one. So, yeah. Oh, I like that car. It's in Malisht. Malisht. Mal Malisht Malik Malachite Malik I think Malik Malik I don't know. Anyways, whatever colour it's in, it's gonna need a fucking oil change because it's an old Mercedes and you should always change the oil in your old Mercedes. Or in any mm. car in fact. Changing oil is kind of a vital part of a car. If you don't change your oil it sort of dies. Well, just it's ask me. fifth gear when they like drained a car of all of its oil. Also, it's the 1st of January in game as well, so... Hype for the start Ooh. of the new year. Uh, Judging by the fact that we are a thousand days into the game, so we are in... When, right, this game, okay. If we go off the assumption that this game takes place in 2005... This will be, t this will like be the new year of 2008, matter. yes, I believe. Ooh. So, welcome to 2008. We can't turbocharge the car, unfortunately. Yeah. How much does stage 2 get us? Oh, baby. Yeah, do that. I basically need enough power to take on the, uh, the SL65, which is probably our main issue in this race. But, if we're lighter than the SL65, we shouldn't have an issue. It's not quite as bad as the SL500. Can opening. Mm -hmm. Live can unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Look at me pour it into my mouth. Do you want to know what wow. it is? Semi racing suspension. Ooh. Coke Zero. Oh, I'm you... really getting sick of the taste of Coke Zero. You fucking pop. <laughs> oh even my god, this thing weighs more than the E55. Oh, oh well, you're fatty. How, did... How does that. How? How did you get two tons in that small of a platform? Uh, yeah, it's not a big there are car. ways. Like, do you just have fucking seven Mexicans sitting in the boot? Mexicans don't weigh that much. <laughs> they're Americans. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, no. I I know I need one thing. Hmm. Let's put some brakes on it, so we can stop it. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Anyways, thankfully the next two one make races shouldn't cost us too much money after this, thankfully. Do you remember in GC5 when they got rid of the brake upgrade? Did they actually some... do that? Yeah, they did. For oh, fuck's sake. First race is at Apricot Hill. No Nürburgring or Paris this time around, so... Hoorah! Anyway, Honda. That's a Cooper. Yes, continuing on with the key theme of the last few episodes, the wall of Oh, right, Jericho. okay. Um, so now oh, we're hey, on Ferrari. On this race. <laughs> nice. Anyways. So now we're on... <laughs> so now we're on Ferrari. So next is the 458 Italia. Uh, uncool. You can't say it's top zero because it catches fire. It's uncool, and I'll tell you why. As far as supercars go, it's not actually that rare. There's a lot of 458s in the world, and a lot of idiots have bought 458s at this point, so... Alright, next for our... Alright, next for our 599. Oh, cool. I think it's cool, but... Look eh. at it. I think it's cool, too. I I think I think it's and I think it looks great. It's uncool. So. It's my list. I fucking love 599. 612. <gasps> Sub-Zero. Uncool. No, it's sub zero, man. There is in no. What is it with you? What is it particularly care. with you and the 612? I have no idea. I literally couldn't <laughs> tell you. Because it's so expensive to get raped by one. I just think it's amazing. It. it... Uh, next Ferrari, the Bronze Str I mean, the California. <laughs> yes. Uncle. Uncle of the California? California? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. 
Yeah, it looks too. Cool. I would actually laugh if there was a Ferrari called the Braun Strowman. I mean, I'm sure we'd all laugh if there was any car called the Braun Strowman. Strowman. F40. Sub-Zero. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Sub-Zero. Whether you like it or not, it broke 200 miles an hour, so it's really cool. I would say it's yeah. on the border of Sub-Zero. Yeah. The F40 is actually... They say 201, I don't think it ever did 201. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the F40 oh. is Sub-Zero until it turns its lights on. Yeah. That, no, I'm gonna say, no, no, I'm gonna say it's just cool, because uh, there's F40. one key thing. It doesn't have mm -hmm. door handles. Alright, next Ferrari is the Enzo. It's cool. It's cool. I'm yeah. cool. As far as the fucking Halo Ferraris go, it's the most boring one, but still, it's cool. Yeah, I think it's probably the most they boring one, though, because techno technology advanced so much around it. Uh, next Ferrari, the F430. Cool. Oh, it was, yeah. uh, I like... Uh, then and, again, uh, and, uh, actually, F430 people are slightly nicer than now the R8 people. Actually, no, I know some dickheads who've got 430s. F430 Scuderia is the last Ferrari, by the way. Uh, yeah. That one is slightly cooler than the standard F430. Because it's slightly Fair cooler. enough. I actually really like the way the Scuderia looks. Same. Oh, it's uh. stripes. Alright, Fiat next. Not They're really. all seriously cool. <laughs> They're all sub zero. So the first one is the 500 of Barth. Sub zero. Sub zero, fuck it. It's zero. Even they think it's sub zero, so. You can't, you're not alone. You can't argue. Uh, Next is the the Fiat Bravo. Oh god, which what? one is it? The newer one? What is that? Does it look new? Ish? It's kind of, kind of just looks like a bigger oh, punt. Though. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's cool. But it's cool. cool just to be safe. No, it's cool. Oh. Okay. Uh, Fiat Doblo. Ah, I love the Doblo. That thing's cool. Yeah. It's, it's a yeah. better Bolingo. Fair oh. enough. Jesus uh, no. the Fiat Grande Punto. That's... I wouldn't say it's quite Sub-Zero, but it, it's... That's a very cool It's sounds cool because it's been a Order or just close to? It's, it's cool. It's close-ish. Okay. Uh, Multipla. Sub Zero. It the is unfortunate. Sub the unfortunate thing is the one they use for the picture is the facelift. It's, it's still no. Sub Zero. It's a Multipla. Yeah, it's one of the most practical cars. I personally the think the Multipla isn't as interesting post facelift. Personally, I don't think but it's as interesting, but it's still, it's the, the dashboard is still, still weird. So. Yeah, okay. As far as cars go, it's brilliant. Fiat Panda. I don't Dude, own one anymore, which cool. means it can be Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that, any car that anyone here owns yeah, is exactly. uncool. Exactly. The Fiat Grande Punto Abarth. Sub-Zero. Okay, that's something. And the thing Abarth, Sub-Zero. Yeah. Fair enough. Abarth is Sub-Zero. Even... Yeah. Don't even at me, bro. The Fiat Sedisi? Sidisi. What? That's a cool Sidisi. car. I like the Sidisi. I've never heard of it. Uh, the Sidisi is basically a badge engineered Suzuki SX4. Uh, but Fiat it, 500. Uh, cool. Ooh. But here's the thing. Mm. The Sidisi has the best name in the world. You, yeah. Let me tell you about Sidisi. the Sidisi and why it's the best car in the world. Thunder, get your ears ready for this. This is great. Do you know what Sidisi means in okay. Italian? What? S Suck dick. No, it means 16 because Fiat were looking at the car and was like, what should we name it? And they saw it, it said 4x4 on it, so they were like, 4 times 4, 16! <laughs> so that's why oh it's my called fucking 16 God. because it's 4 times 4. 4x4. Four four. So Jesus easy. Christ. It's amazing. Oh. Alright, and the last, I think there's one more Fiat. It's James May's Panda. Sub Zero. Yeah, Sub Zero. Like fridge territory, that. Especially because he doesn't own it anymore, which makes it even cool. Does it? I thought he still had a panda. No, he's got an i3 now. He gave. It, I think he gave his girlfriend the panda. Though. I think oh, that's what he said anyway. But he's got a BMW now. i3 now. That's what he drives. All right. Next is Ford. Ford. 
first Ford is a fucking Focus CC. Seriously, Uncle? <laughs> it's a yeah, convertible I mean, even they fucking agree it's normal serious. car. Even they agree it's seriously mm -hmm. uncool. And th their description just says, The world would definitely be a slightly better place if cars like this didn't exist. I agree <laughs> entirely. Though. It's not quite Renault yeah. Megane uh, CC yeah. territory, so we'll get to that later. <laughs> Alright, next is the Focus C Max. Uh, uncool. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's one of weird five door people carriers, I don't like them. Uh, at least uh, the multiple next has the, more Next is just, next is the Focus. Which one? The Focus. Which Focus? The last, it was the last one before it became the global platform one, I think. So second gen Europe. Yes. Uh, Facebook uncle. did one. Uncool. I learned to drive that one. It's uncool. Cool. uncool. It's uncool because it doesn't look quite as good as the first gen. It's not quite as good a car as the first uh, gen was. Speaking of that, by the way, Focus ST. Is it first the gen? second gen? Uh... I think technically that would be the first gen, but it is the second gen platform. Yeah, uh, yeah. that one's cool because it's got a five cylinder from the Volvo in it. Oh, yeah. baby. Exactly. And that's why you Ford GT. Seriously, I'm cool. Wow, fuck what? you. Because <laughs> it's, it, it's a fucking. It, it, it's, it shouldn't exist. It's a fucking wank off piece for Piss Ford. off. It's a wank off piece for Ford. That's all it exists for. Wait, Piss off. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the oh, 05 no. Ford GT, right? Yes. Right, yeah. yeah. So seriously, cool. Okay, fuck it. Piss off. Oh my god, all of the R129s in this event. But, Piss but again, my list. it's your list, and I won't my list. It. Fuck you. Even though the GT they use as, a, as an example picture is a green one. Still seriously, I'm cool. So even, see, even Scotian agrees. Seriously, yeah, it's because he's doesn't know what good cars are. I don't like it. Anyways. <laughs> Ford car. Seriously, Uncle. Sub-Zero. You need to ask that. <laughs> Fucking Scotia would just Sub-Zero. Yeah, he likes <laughs> the car because he's, again, as I said previously, he doesn't Mental. know what good cars are. <laughs> hey, listen. You've got a GM wedge car, shut up. Ford, Ford Cougar. Seriously, I, 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 you can get with five yeah, cylinders. Uncool though. If you can get it with a five cylinder, that automatically like moves it up to approval process. Up the level. Yeah. It's called five cylinder tax. Ford S Max. You can get no. that with a five cylinder. It's also slightly cooler than a Galaxy, so it's sort of border. It's still uncool, but it's not by border. Much. Not oh, quite border. Uncool. Just, sort of, just uncool. Just near it. Uh, uh, next is the Fiesta. Which one? Cool. The most recent one? ST. What, the new edge one? Not the new edge one, sorry. The, the, the one that's got the sharpness. The one they sold in America. Yeah, the one that they've had, the one that they had from like 2000, yeah, the one they sold in North America. Yeah, that would cost Yeah. Cool. That's cool, though. I actually didn't even realize they made a new Fiesta, but then again, I guess that's just because Ford's not bringing <laughs> you it You don't get here. it, and it looks better now. Like, Why does it car only have a 5-speed? It's got a fucking V12 I find that it. amusing, how they were doing this whole global platform thing, and now the, the new yeah, Fiesta's he... like, yeah, we're actually we're not going to bring it over here. I think it's because they realize, like, basically you're giving North Americans cars they don't want, and then eventually they'll have to get to a point where it's just like, Here's, hey, hey England, how you doing? Here's the F350, and it's like, what are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> what? I, I didn't know what I am. new Fiesta, I, I had a look at pictures since I didn't, I've never seen what the new Fiesta looks, it looks weird. I tell you what, it looks weird at first, but honestly once you see more of them, it's why I was you become more accepting. Who the fuck is having a wank? Fair enough. I'm trying to light a candle. Why are you trying to light a candle, you fucking Victorian fuck? Who want a candle? Stop being a I'm fucking a posh twat, you fucking posh twat. Wow. Eat my dick. I'd rather not. Fucking, I'd end up catching fucking yeah, posh twat off you. <laughs> so yeah. Posh twat come all over his face. Oh, that anyway, anyways, Wanda. As it doesn't come, fucking, it's just I, I, like, I, I don't even know what to make of this, some of this talk. Like, I'm sitting here like, what? Yeah, you weren't around for the other episode where it was on about fucking nuggets. Anyways, carry on. 
<laughs> that oh my god I wish right I anyways um <laughs> you you are right I should move on uh next is the what I think there's another Ford net yep uh the next is the fusion oh god seriously I'm gonna call my dad no. that one go away no. No. is it is it x5 x6 territory or no? it's not x5 well, x6 like, territory but it's, it's just on it's always bordering it's uncool to seriously uncool. It's not quite that bad, but it's, it's not offensive in any way. It's just a bit shit. <laughs> it's not offensive in any way, but that's sort of the issue. All right, All right. Ford Galaxy. Uh, slightly less than Galaxy, the which one? It'll be the new Edge one. Or the newer Ford Monde Ford Mondeo. Which one? The one before the one where they were the, they had they also called it Fusion over here. It's available with a five cylinder, I'd say it's bordering. Yeah. It's a good looking car. The Ford 500. I'd say it's so not a bad looking car. So cool? Eh, bordering, uncool, cool. There's so, many cars on, there's so many cars on fucking borders at the moment. I will never understand. I will say it's, it's a shame that Ford of America is kind of being stupid. With cars, as well, they're not being like stupid. what they're planning on doing. Save as much money as possible, which, to be fair, if no one's buying the cars, then there's no point of keeping to import them. Yeah, but some of them, like some of the decisions, I don't understand. Like yeah, I, I, the Fusion was doing well enough that they could have kept selling it. Well, it's a full hope... thing. You will. His thing. Just oh hope, but... oh oh okay. Maybe I was wrong. Here's one thing, Thunder. Think what? of it this way. Hope that Ford sales decrease. They realize the error of their way and then just bring them back. Because realistically, I think they could do actually that I easily. realized Ford sales did decrease for the Fusion. In 2014, for example, they sold 306,000 of them. For 2017, they they were down. The sales were down almost 100,000. Yeah, but 2014 Jeez. was like the first year for them. Again, yeah. just sort of hope Ford gets in a sales slump now, and then eventually they'll turn around and go. Because the thing, the thing is with them having a European division, if people decide all of a sudden they want like proper cars again, they're like, oh well, we'll just go grab them from your personal issue. <laughs> Anyways, carry on. Yeah. A Anyways, sale. um, last Ford is the Focus RS. Is that Not the green one. one? The green one, yeah. That's a Fuck bordering oh, Sub-Zero to cool car. The owners aren't particularly great, but the car's great. Burn it. I just said burn it, you bastard, you... Sorry, son of a... I don't a... like it. Everyone who drives one is a gigantic fucking penis. They are, but it comes with a five-cylinder. This massive show of, oh, look at me, I've got a really fast car, even though it's... I am on. I am honestly with Emil here. I really like the car personally. It's a good car. So, just set. I the, can't, set can't be as bad. Car. Can't be as bad as people who go on about the new Focus RS. Bro, my new oh, Focus yeah, RS has got I'm drift I'm mode. I could be like Ken Walk. Ken Walk, gay. El Capitan. Ken Anyways, Gumper oh, Apollo is next. Oh God, that's a seriously that's cool car. Sub Zero? Really? really? That is a Sub Zero because of the because of the fucking Sub -Zero. name. It's so ugly. I love I it. I am, I'm so glad you guys think it's Sub Zero because I yeah, really like the it's car. It's a great car. It's fucking ugly. You need to be no, sold on the looks. So. I actually like the way it looks. I, yeah. I agree that you need to be sold on the looks, but I think it looks nice. I actually so. really like the way it looks as well. And we're back. Anyway, Thunder. Right. Um. So next, so we go. We get to do Honda now. Oh boy! Yeah. And we start with the Honda. Wait, we got Accord. The Fords. Yeah, we're done with Ford, Ford now. What was the last one? The Focus RS. The last one, yeah, was the Focus RS. Okay. So Honda Accord first. Uh, I haven't bought gonna... one yet. It's cool. Under review. Under review. Under review. Actually, me. yeah. Under review. Skip that one. To be fair, the one that's in picture is probably not the Accord you're gonna buy anyway. What does it look like? It's. I want to keep in mind most of these cars what plate does it are have like on it? around 
What? What number does the plate have on that? How would I know? On the front, there's a number plate. What num What does it say on it? The picture is kind of uh, is a side view of the car. <laughs> ah, that's helpful. Yeah. If it was like an American version, then uh, you wouldn't like it. It's probably the one I'm gonna get. Just ignore that one for now. It's yeah, a, it's a 2008 to 2012 Accord. Okay, it's there's a potential cool. I might buy that one though. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's on a review. Yeah. Uh, Honda Civic. Spaceship Civic? It's the Spaceship Civic, yes. Cool car. Cool. Yeah. It cool does car. admittedly look cool. The interior is the SR. No, they're just, they all look the same. Unfortunately, that trend doesn't stay with the Civic Hybrid. Go away. Uh, I actually don't hate Go the Civic away. Hybrid. I like I... it if you parked it outside. It's... So... Fuck it's off. better than a Prius. It's still so, uncool though. So it's yeah, uncool. uncool then. And I do apologize if anyone watching this has a Prius. I just apologize in general, you're stuck with that shit. Honda no. CRV. The CRV? Which one? Yeah. Burn it. The one they probably would have been having around 2011, 2012. Okay, if it's the 2011-2012, it's uncool. I'll put it this way, Emil. Don't think of any vehicle beyond that, those years. I'm not thinking of beyond. I'm thinking before. But yeah, it's it, it's uh, it would, it's the 2006-2011. Yeah, it's, it's year uncool. CRV. As me and Azul found out okay. the other day, if it's before that, then it's seriously cool. Yeah, do you all know why? Emil, tell him. Thunder. <sighs> Thunder. Why? The, the, the 99 to 2006 CRV has the best feature I've ever seen in a car. Which is? In the glove box, there is a built in fridge. Oh, sorry, in the on the dashboard, there's a built in fridge. Okay, that's cool actually box. really fucking cool. Yeah. It's uh, the cool box, so naturally on the cool wall, it does very well because it is so cool. It will keep your sandwich cool. You're, you are correct. Alright, next Honda is the Spaceship Civic Type R. Um, slightly less cool than the standard. <laughs> no, actually, that's a cool car. I like it. Actually, okay, no, that so one I'm might be bored. It... That one borders on Sub-Zero, because the thing is, that's the Civic Type R that isn't built by the people who buy the other Type R Civic. Yeah. Hmm. Then at the bubble top, um... the what? Spaceship. Is that what you're talking about? No, the spaceship's the European one. Alright. Next is the FRV. The Farv. What? Well, it's like a multiple, but less cool, which makes Gigi. it cool. Why are you going off, cool. Kijiji? Oh boy, Kijiji. Yes. What's happening on the Kijids? Ah, uh, someone's responded to one of my ads, I guess. <gasps> oh, I'm for free find out what it is for. Oh. <laughs> free? Fuck off. It'll do you handy. No, no, free. Did someone respond to it? Or did it just expire and you need to relist it? Oh, it's just a like fucking Kijiji alert about... About... It's, just, it's literally just promoting themselves. <laughs> nice. Anyways... It's what better than Gumtree. Gumtree, Anyways, I said, like, FRV, give me a new... what do we think? Uncle. Oh. Gumtree, they said like, oh yeah, we'll give you daily alerts on the Honda Accord, guess what? No, it didn't. No. It, it's been three daily. weeks, I still haven't had any daily <laughs> fucking things, I have to check it you myself. Uh, who died? Uh, Scotian. Um, but he came back, he's so back. it's okay. Hey. He can't leave. He came back for us. He came back? He came Alright, the Honda he Insight. Oh, oh, I like it. the Insight. Wait, is it the yeah, second gen uh, Insight or first gen? Yes, second gen. Okay, it's cool. We didn't like it much. It's still Fair cool. Fair enough. Yeah, but not as sub zero with the first Honda gen. Jazz. That's cool. It's a cool car. I like it a lot. Fuck you. I agree. I agree. I like the Jazz slash fit. Yes. I hope Honda keeps making it, which they probably will, because people buy them. Yeah, I mean, 
they've got no reason. They yeah. sell about like a zillion of them in Japan and Europe. And probably an I, and I and see them America. all the time over here too, so. Canada strikes me as the sort of place they'd sell a lot of them. Canada does generally appreciate smaller cars compared to the US, so. Hence Micro. That's why. Yeah, that, yeah, I was about to say that's why Nissan sold the Micro over Did here. Did they still sell the Micro? I don't think so, but I can check their website yeah, check real quick. Yeah, check websites. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, mm -hmm. vehicle. Nissan, let's see, vehicles. It, it, they still list a Micro. Is it the hey. last-gen Micro or is it a new one? It, it looks like the last-gen, though. Uh, oh. Maybe they'll keep selling that in America if it's doing well. Because the, the thing with that maybe. Micro is it was supposed to be a global platform anyway, so maybe they'll still sell it in India. Because and... Canada's not averse to selling cars past the due date. <laughs> City Golf. So, you know. Yeah. Was it the City Golf? That weird Mark IV, Mark V Golf hybrid thing. Yes, that was that was the city golf. That was stupid. It was an odd idea. It wasn't a very an, good. An idea. idea I don't understand. Yes, I'd I'd say it wasn't a good idea. But that's me. I don't question it. They just did it for whatever Indeed. reason. The only reason car companies exist, memes. Yeah. Get on. Let's go, Shun. Now, now that my computer decided to unfuck itself. Mm. Good. You need to stop fucking your computer. I need a new computer to fuck. Shotgun bullets are bad for your health. Ice Cube told me that. Unfortunately, Ice Cube was factionally incorrect because shotguns don't shoot bullets, they shoot pellets. Anyways, um, next Honda... Next Honda is the Legend. <gasps> that is a seriously cool car. I love yeah. the Legend. The Legend is we amazing. Like... I just love the fact it's called the Legend. Well, it is the Legend. It's like the Chicken Legend from Burger King. Hmm. <laughs> Oh hey, Rhino's gone back to Rosemary Pictures, unless he already... I don't know. I mean, doesn't he always? Occasionally he... It is Thursday after all, so... It's Thursday. It's Impact Day. Yeah, that's when Impact airs, it's Thursdays. I don't even know if he watches Impact anymore. He watches it for Rosemary. Okay. I didn't realize you. And he all, although to be fair, he probably also watches it for Impact as well because he just likes wrestling in general. Impact Wrestling. Also, by the way, I think it's time for Prize Car. Ooh. Oh boy, let's take a look. Is it gonna be a shit color? Oh, it's it's what I thought that. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, I like the interior. That's, cool. That's actually not a bad color. It can come in like sort of shitty green. I really like that one that's in uh, Grand Turismo 6, the chrome line one with like the orange stripe. Oh yeah, the red with the shirt. stripes. Yeah, I don't think it looks cool. Chrome line is lit. Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised that we got that for SL Challenge. I was expecting either that or like some like special coloured SLR. <laughs> Despite the fact the SLR isn't eligible for that event. Anyways, let's go take a quick look at our newish machetes. Uh, 300 SL, 215 brake horsepower. If you want a car to do a thousand miles, then that's not a. Now that is a cool car. A bad choice. It comes in graffiti grey. It's cool. Graphite. You're not. Graffiti. Graphite. Graffiti. Anyway, 66.8% completion, 1009 days play time. We're four days away from my birthday, in game. So that's fun. And unfortunately, we're going nice. to end up passing my birthday driving Volkswagens. Join us for that. Until then, farewell.